When we've got the joy of the Lord in us, we can overcome anything. We can defeat the enemy. It is written in the word of God that with the Holy Spirit in us, we have the power to trample on serpents. And that's what the enemy is, folks. He is nothing but a slithering sneak. I tell you something, folks. We all seem to think that Satan is this, this horrible, great, big, gorge of a, a big, powerful person. You see, when you actually come face to face with Satan, he's nothing but a sniveling little minion. And all you've got to do is flick him off your shoulder. When he comes calling to you and he starts telling you, how can you be born again? How can you be a, a follower of Christ? When you were 20, you did X, Y, and Z. When you were 32, you did X, Y, and Z. All you've got to do to him is tell him, quote the scriptures to him, that Jesus paid it all at the cross. That all your sins were taken with Jesus to the cross and everything. Jesus paid the price in full. The debt's been paid. Remember the old uh, chorus? that Jesus paid a, a debt he didn't owe. I owed a debt I couldn't pay. Jesus has paid it off. He really has. And that's all we got to do to the enemy is tell him that, that Jesus has paid it off. We've heard the old cliche, the old meme that's going about all over the super uh, the uh, social medias, that when, G oh, sorry, when Satan comes knocking on your door, have Jesus answer it. Well, what a better person to answer the door have Jesus there be built up in your scriptures folks have everything have the armor of God around you and we're told in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verses um, 1 through 8 that it's a time for change a time for living a time for dying a time for uh, tearing a time for uh, uh, sowing and we're also told in Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 3 verse 9 where two people are stronger than one. And that's why when we first come to know Jesus, we can't do it alone. It frightens me when I hear new Christians saying, I don't need to go to church. I can do it all by myself. No, you can't. You need to go to church. You need to get into a good fellowship. You need to have more mature spiritually mature people around you and spiritually mature people do not necessarily have to be older than you i've known loads of younger people that are so spiritually mature it's a mess but you need to get a good strong team of people around you that no matter what your temptation is going to be that you have got them that you can fall back on because one's okay but two are stronger two is better because when you fall down there's somebody there to help pick you up. But three or more is even stronger. You need people around you, folks. And storms of life are going to come along. People, where in the Bible does it say that the Christian life is going to be an easy life? It doesn't. We're going to have our trials and tribulations and everything we're going to go through. The only difference with our trials and tribulations is the different way we handle it to unbelievers. And we know that we can take all our trials and tribulations to the foot of the cross and have Jesus help us through it. The Holy Spirit will guide us through everything, so he will. Storms of life will come. They really will. And you know something, too? Unbelievers are actually watching us going through our storms of life. They're watching us how we handle our storms of life. So you can be a great witness for the Lord Jesus Christ, at how you handle your storms of life and other people can see it. It's sad that many non-believers don't think that we Christians uh, have problems. We do. We have health. We have financial. We have even relationship problems. How many of us, how many of us have had to stand up and walk away from a relationship because it was bad for us and our spirituality? God is our gardener and we are the vines on, on, on his branch. And any good gardener knows that come a certain time of year, twice a year, you have to prune back hard on plants to get good, better, new growth the following year. 
So yes, folks, it might sound hard of me, but there are times we do have to walk away from relationships to strengthen ourselves. And God, God will restore those relationships that he wants to, and they will, they will come back. But if God tells you to walk away from someone or something, do it. Please, God. We handle all our things all differently. We really do. And I just love that we can take everything to God in prayer, because I think as the title of this uh, talk tonight was supposed to be that prayer can move mountains. Prayer really can move mountains. And I love I love the acronym of PUSH. It's P, pray, you until S, something, H happens. So that's it. Pray until something happens. We need to keep praying in and praying in and praying in. And the more of us that we can come together with a brilliant prayer team, we can move those mountains. Aren't we told? What, what is the size of a mustard seed? A mustard seed is no bigger than that dot at the end of my finger. In fact, that's maybe about the twice the size of a mustard seed. And aren't we told in the scriptures? that we just need to have faith the size of the mustard seed to move mountains. Yes, we can do it, folks. And if it's not happening, why isn't it happening? Maybe because we don't have the right prayer warriors around us. Maybe it's time to change prayer warriors. Maybe it's time to get in with prayer warriors. Let's do it. Let's, have, let's see signs, wonders, and miracles happening out of this prayer group. Or is he? Brother Mark is getting baptized tomorrow. What? And I tell you, tomorrow, the first Sunday of a new month, and he is going through his baptism that is new. He is a new creation in Christ. He is going through the waters. He's dying as old man, being buried and coming out resurrected as a new person in Christ. Hallelujah. That is absolutely wonderful. I would love to see pictures of it or maybe a video of it could because baptisms are so, so, so important. We're told in Jeremiah 29, 11, that God says, for I know the plans I have for you. They're plans to prosper you and not to harm you. He does want us to prosper. Does that mean financially? Does that mean with material things? Probably. But he wants us to prosper spiritually. And we're not going to prosper spiritually by ourselves. So get yourselves around a good prayer team. If you don't come on to this group regularly, you have to start coming on regularly. I don't get here all the time, but Pastor Ivor knows I have my own ministry and it's hard to stretch things. So it is, but I get here when I possibly can. And rest assured that when I'm not here, I am praying for everybody in this group. I might know you all. I might know people's names, but God does. And that's all that needs to matter. We're told in different scriptures all over the place. And I just love the Psalms. So I do. You were told in Psalm 100 and verse 4 to enter his gates with praise. Uh, and with thanksgiving, go into his. Sorry, sorry, I, I said that wrong. It's enter his gates with thanksgiving and go into his courts with praise. We need to be praising him. We need to be praising him. And our strongholds will break down. We can't go a fight against the enemy and the attacks of the enemy if we don't have the scriptures to back us up. We can't go into battle without our armour of God. Would you send a soldier into some war zone, say like the Middle East or something that, like that, without at least a handgun or a couple of rifles, a tank, armoured cars, walkie-talkie, maybe mobile phone to get back up to, to put in touch with HQ? No, you wouldn't. So what makes you think that we, we should go into battle without being fully equipped in the armour of God? We need to be equipped, folks. Get ourselves equipped so that when those attacks, when the enemy come, they're just going to slide off like Teflon. Let's be Teflon coated, folks. Let the attack slide off. But all the enemy's looking for is one little hairline crack and he can get in. And any portals, if we're tempted to, to go back and watch pornography, if we're tempted to go back and watch horror movies, if we're tempted to go back and have one drink when we shouldn't have a drink, when we know we can't have a drink, that's us opening up a portal 
to let the enemy and all his minions in. And aren't we also told in the scriptures that uh, when demons are cast out, we have to make sure that the house is swept totally clean else and, and the doors are closed and locked or else but that demon's going to go out and bring seven of his pals back again. Yeah, we have to be careful. The enemy is real. The enemy's attacks are real. The enemy wants each and every one of you back in his camp. And that's why he's attacking you. Do you notice he doesn't attack weak? Yeah, weak, very, yes, not very spiritually mature Christians. And why doesn't he attack those ones? Because he's nothing to fear from them. When we are attacked by him, it's because he's frightened of us. He knows the part. Remember, the enemy was in heaven. He knows God better than anybody here in this call tonight. Lucifer is, 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 is the most beautiful angel. But his pride got in the way. And he thought he could do a better job than God. <laughs> Nobody can do a better job than God. He created everything. He spoke everything into existence. And he created us in his image. Does that mean physically we, we look like him? No. What that means is that spiritually we're created in his image. He wants us to be so spiritually pure and so spiritually wonderful that the enemy might eventually give up attacking us because he knows he doesn't stand a chance of us faltering and getting back into his camp. So what are we going to do, folks? Are we going to be, are we going to march in this army of God? Are we going to put on our hog-nailed boots with our beautiful white robes? And we're going to march in the army of God and we are going to kick the enemy's ass. So we are, and we're going to kick him back to the gates of Hades where he belongs. He has no right. The enemy has no right to attack us. It's only because we, we, allowed, we let him attack us that he comes to us. We have the power of God in us. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And in Psalm 117, aren't we told it is, it is written that, and I have my Bible here, I just want to check it. I'm going to quote it right. In 117, it's only two verses long. It's praise the Lord, all you nations. Praise him, all you people of the earth, for he loves us with unfailing love. The faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Praise the Lord. Do it, folks. We can defeat the enemy. And I'm going to pass it back over to Pastor Ivor now. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Galatians 5 verse 1 says, it's for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm and do not let yourself be burdened Amen. Amen. away by the yoke of slavery. Amen. When Amen. we trust in Christ, when we fully trust in Christ, and when we are in Christ, we are new creatures. Hallelujah. That's who we are. The old has passed away. As we mentioned about Mark's baptism tomorrow, you know, his old life is dying to be risen up to the new life in Christ in the name of Jesus. And when we see the old habits and character traits that marked life before Christ passes through us, we can see God is in the process of making us entirely new and it's called sanctification. Amen. So it's not that we've gone back. It's not that we've fallen back. We're going through a pruning process. We can't have it. You know, those of us who come from the background of addiction, we know that we want it now. Hallelujah. And God can do it now. We're not saying he can't, but we have to be 
patient that it's in his time and not ours. This is the one time where we cannot take control. Where we have to let go and let God do his thing on us by the power of the Holy Spirit. But we have to play our part. We have to yield. We have to surround ourselves by other believers and like-minded people. As our sister says, we have to be in the word of God. Because how else will the enemy flee if we don't give him the words that the Holy Spirit is sowing inside each and every single one of us? Second Corinthians 5, 7, Paul offers several descriptions of what we look like as new creatures and new characters. And it starts with and ends with love. Love suffers. Love is kind. Love does not envy. It does not parade itself. It's not puffed up. It does not seek its own self-gratification. It's not provoked. It thinks no evil. It bears all things, believes in all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Now, the scriptures in 1 Corinthians 13, that now abide faith, hope, love, these three are the greatest, but there is love and there is no better than love. That's what we're striving for. Some of us, we need to take a good hard look. Because we know that there's no condemnation in Christ Jesus. That God loves you. What's the best for each of you? For his plans to be established in each and every single one of them. That we know that the fruits of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against these, there is no such law, the scripture says. In Philippians, it says, meditate on whatever these things are true, noble, just, pure, lovely, good rapport. These are the things that we need to sow into our hearts and our minds today. The biggest journey that we'll probably make is making it from here to here. God wants our heart. He doesn't want anything else. We need to put on these things, as it says in Colossians 3, 12 to 16. Put on these things, tender mercy, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering, bearing with one another. Amen. Let the world see Christ in us. Let us pray. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you tonight as we come to you tonight. Lord, in the name of Jesus, any prayer requests, we need you to put them in the chat. We want to pray for them. We've got a prayer team here ready to pray for you. Father God, we thank you. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we thank you. We thank you as we come before you tonight. We lift up every person on this platform tonight. In Jesus' name, we thank you for your supernatural power that will continue to uproot anything that is not of you in each and every single one of us. Thank you, Father Lord, that you will restore everything unto us holy spirit visit that dark room in our life in the name of jesus hallelujah father god we thank you we thank you lord that you are god rearrange our destiny according to your plan father god in the name of jesus we come before you tonight we thank you jesus hallelujah as we rejoice richly father we thank you for your network chains are with us in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, that we release ourselves from every ungodly pattern and we refute every argument right here in the name of Jesus as we come before you tonight. 
In the name of your son, Jesus, Lord, we lift up every prayer request tonight. Father, Lord, I pray as we reject and denounce every spirit of failure in Jesus' name. And I find as we pray tonight, I bind up every spirit of financial flame, failure in the name of Jesus, Lord. Father, we thank you tonight that we break every bondage that may be holding us back in the name of Jesus. That we nullify all curses of failure in our life in the name of Jesus. That we pull down every stronghold of failure in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you as we lift your name up high. Because you are the name above all names. We pray for Tony. Okay, I'm going to take that first prayer request. Rory, can we pray for Tony to make it into detox? Uh, you need to pray to make it into... To, to please pray so that he makes it into detox in a few weeks rory can you take that first prayer request for our brother tony we pray that he makes it into detox in the next few weeks hallelujah over to you brother heavenly father in the name of jesus we lift up tony to you lord and you know everything about tony lord you've made him lord and you have got an incredible plan for his life lord and i just pray right now lord that he will make it into detox lord that you will be with him in the midst that you will be working in the midst of his life lord that you would bring around him the people that are necessary to get him lord to that next level and lord i just pray right now that your holy spirit would move and lord that you would do wonderful things as you do always lord you're always doing good so lord we thank you for brother tony we lift him up to you, Lord, surround him with your peace, with your presence, with your love. And Lord, please lead him, Lord, as you split the Red Sea, Lord, and he walks on through and you lead him unto yourself. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen, brother. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Uh, prayer to remain patient. Okay, um, Sister Gazelle, Mark, can you pray a prayer so you can remain patient for our brother Mark? Oh, excuse me, I'm laughing about that. I am, and I shouldn't, I know, but it just reminds me that, Lord, grant me the gift of patience, and I want it now. We all need patience, we do, all we do. But Lord God Almighty, we come before you, or I'll should die. We lift up each and every prayer request here tonight. And you know the prayers in people's hearts, the unspoken ones, the unrequested ones. But Lord God Almighty, Brother Mark is asking for that, that fruit of the spirit of patience. Lord God Almighty, I am asking you to fill him with the patience that only comes from you. Let him walk in each and every one of the fruits of the Spirit, Lord. But as Brother Iver said earlier, especially love. Because without love, everything else is meaningless. And Lord God Almighty, it is written that we love each other because you first loved us. And we thank you for that love, Father God, we do. But I do, I'm lifting up Brother Mark to you. I'm lifting up his baptism tomorrow. And Lord, please give him Grant him his wish of the gift of patience. And with each and every one's addictions that we have here and addictions that we're, that we're still fighting, the words of the song that I speak Jesus spring to mind. And we need to speak your holy name, Lord Jesus, over every addiction and over every disease and over our families, Lord, that they will come to know you and every addiction and every disease will be broken. We will walk free. We will no longer be slaves. We give you all the praise and all the glory. Amen. 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 Brother um, Isaac. Over to you. Unmute. Thank you, man of God. I appreciate. Uh, sorry for coming in late. Uh, uh, because of uh, the travel, I was overtaken by, by sleep. So my wife just woke me up. Come on, you said you have a meeting. 
and uh, that is it. So thank you so much, man of God, for for teaching us on uh, stronghold. Even though I missed it, but uh, I will do a recap. I will uh, rewatch it, and therefore I just want, uh, if you give me permission, uh, in five minutes I will share something shortly. Then we we'll pray. Amen. Come in. Uh, uh, yes. So I just want to to say something concerning strongholds, because. Uh, uh many 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 people are, are bound uh because of strongholds and uh, we realize that uh, when we are talking about strongholds we are basically talking about spiritual warfare that we fight uh every day of our life and uh just uh, to restate what uh uh, the man of God and others have already said concerning this topic is that uh, a stronghold is an incorrect thinking pattern that has modeled itself into a way of thinking. And these uh, strongholds have the capability to affect our, our feelings, how we respond to various situations in life, and they play a, a larger role in our spiritual freedom. And uh, Satan always erects strongholds uh, mm -hmm. in our mind so that he can keep us from the true knowledge of God. Satan doesn't want us to have the true knowledge of God, and he uses lies, he uses deception uh, mm -hmm. to make us uh, bound. And a stronghold in the mind is basically a spiritual uh, fortress made of wrong thoughts. Mm -hmm. A stronghold in the mind is basically a fortress made of wrong thoughts, a fortified dwelling place where demonic forces can hide and operate in power against us. Let me repeat, a stronghold in the mind is a, is a spiritual fortress made of wrong thoughts, how we think, a fortified dwelling place where demonic forces can hide and operate in power against us. Mm -hmm. So the ideas and thoughts that make up the stronghold are based on lies that challenge the truth of what God has revealed about himself. When lies pile in our minds against what is revealed of God to us, then we say it has become a stronghold. We don't think right, we don't act right. And uh, where, do, where do strongholds come from? Strong, strongholds are built upon deception and error. Strongholds are built upon deception and error. These errors and deceptions which form strongholds can come from a wide variety of sources, including our environment, the world around us, uh, even demonic spirits are able to influence us so that a, a stronghold is made. And therefore, uh, we need we need to apply what the man of God, the scripture the man of God read in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4, that are for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but are mighty through God, pulling down of stronghold, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. We need to dare down strongholds. We shouldn't entertain strongholds. That's mm -hmm. what the Bible tells us based on this scripture. Uh, we said that uh, strongholds are, are built upon error and falsehood. Strongholds are built upon error and falsehood. And it is through the truth that you tear down such faulty thinking patterns. When we accept error and we begin to meditate on deception, then a stronghold has been fortified in our minds and that and that disables us and therefore we need to do we need to do the following uh one of the things we need to do according to romans chapter 12 verse 2 we need to renew our minds we must renew our minds and we can only renew our minds by the word of god it's only the word of God that is able to cleanse our minds. It's only the word of God that is able to set us free. The truth that we know, the revealed truth of the word, 
when we apply in our lives, then we are set free. Just knowing the truth is not enough until the truth is applied. That's when we receive, uh, we receive our deliverance. And therefore, we must prepare ourselves to tear down every stronghold in our lives because uh, uh, strongholds uh, normally exalt themselves against the knowledge of the Son of God. And therefore, we have been empowered to bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Glory be to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Uh, we will, uh, we will uh, by the grace of God, uh, through the man of God, we will uh, go deeper into this subject so that uh, we see how, how, how do strongholds operate? How are they released in our lives? How do we deal with them? strongly and uh, one of the ways apart from renewing our minds we must learn to forgive we must learn to forgive forgiveness is key there are people who have messed up with our lives that's very true there are people that we have offended therefore we need to repent and also we need to forgive those that have hurted us Glory be to the Lamb of God. We must, we must trust the Lord that he alone he is able to avenge, not us, because revenge belongs to him. We must cut off every root that the enemy uses to attack us. Glory be to the Lamb of God. Number three thing that I'm, I'm, I'm suggesting based on the word of God for us to break, to break strongholds, we must pray the word of God. We must pray the word of God. When we pray the word of God, we are empowered to see our position in God. Number one, we are sons of God. That's what, that's what the Bible calls us. Not anything else. We are the sons of God. And actually, that's the highest office of any believer, being a son of God. Glory be to the Lamb of God. We must pray the word. We must speak the word. We must pray the word. We must speak the word. We must pray the word. We must speak the word. And therefore, I want us to, I want, I want us to, to make this prayer. Uh, I, I, will allow, I will request each one of us uh, just to, to unmute your microphone kindly. So that uh, 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 we repeat, we repeat after me. Then once we have done that, I will hand over the microphone to the man of God. So let's say that, uh, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I come to you. I come to you just as I am. Just as I am. Please forgive my forgive me of my sins. Please, Please forgive me of my sins. For I am sorrowful and repentant. In your name and grace. In your name and grace. And grace I forgive all others of their sins against me. I forgive all others of their sins against, against, me. against, against me. me. I have invited you to be the master of my life. I have invited you to be the master of my life. Master of my life. To live in me and I in you. To live in me and I in you. Thank you for responding with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for responding with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Who proceeds from you and the Father. Who proceeds from you and the Father. You and the Holy Father. I empty myself daily. I empty I myself, empty myself, empty myself daily. To your spirit so that you may possess me. So your spirit may possess me. Transform and heal me, O oh God. Transform me and heal me, O oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Strengthen my body, my spirit, and my soul. I praise you, Jesus, because you are my shepherd. I praise you, Jesus, because you are my shepherd. And I'm willing to follow you. 
I will follow you every day of my life. I'll follow you every day of my life. Of my life. I'm grateful for setting me free. And I'm grateful for setting me free. Setting me free. Setting me free. Therefore, Lord, I say thank you. Therefore, Lord, I say thank you. Help me to know my position in you. Help me that I may use your word in my life. And use your word in my life. Use your word in my life. And help me that I may apply the authority of delegated to me. And help me that I may apply the authority of delegated to me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I bind and take authority over Satan's activities. And I decree I am free in the name of Jesus. I am free. I am free. I am free in the name of Jesus. Today I establish the presence of God in my life. Today I establish the presence of God in my life. I will not believe the lies of the enemy. I will not I will believe, believe, not believe, believe of the, the enemy. The lies the lies of the enemy. I choose to believe the word. And I choose I to believe the word. To believe the word. I am a child of God. I am a child, I am a child, child of, God. of God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus', In Jesus, Jesus name. mighty name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Amen. You, man of God. Amen. 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 And remember, guys. Amen. Remember, 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 there is no condemnation in Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. There is Hallelujah. no condemnation in Christ. No matter where you are, no matter where, what point you are right now, I want to tell you, I want to speak to you right now, that there is no condemnation in him. You tell that devil he's a liar, that I'm a child of God, and God is going to continue bringing me to that place of fruitation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, the world will tell us about things about low self-esteem, low self-worth, and we will have feelings of guilt. We may even have feelings of shame. We may have been hurt badly. We may have said things. We might have had things spoken over us. Are we seeing ourselves incorrectly today if that is you i'm going to pray for you if that is you i want to raise your hand i want to pray for you are you seeing yourself incorrectly low self-esteem feel like a sinner not mm. like a saint not like a child of god consumed by feelings are you hard-hearted do you have an unhealthy fear of God? Because that's what the enemy wants us to have. You see, one of the most devastating strongholds to have is an incorrect image of who God is. Two main strongholds that we need is one, how you see God. And the other is where you see yourself incorrectly. Those are the two main strongholds that even as believers, we can get tangled up in. This is why we need to be in the word daily, die into our own self daily. Maxine, over to you. I want to pray for you. Let's pray. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, I'm it's sorry. I was really raised. tired. I'm dropping off faster, but um, yeah. What what you were saying was resonating with me because um, that's it's it's like a, a weakness um when you feel like you're a sinner. I've been feeling like a sinner. I've been feeling like um, the the, the enemy is the devil's sowing seeds of lies around me, uh, where I live. I feel like I go out, I feel like there's, you know, it's just really, um, it's a battle, isn't it, every day? That's what I feel like. I feel like when I 
when I go in my garden, I feel like, you know, there's things being said about me, lies. The That's what I feel like. I feel like it's sowing seeds of lies about me. And it's really, it was really getting to me, actually, a lot. And then um, I feel like the whole thing with Alex, it's all happening and, but there is a good thing actually. Um, Alex has got this new job and he was doing this exam and he said he prayed to God. He prayed to God. <laughs> he doesn't even believe in God, he says. But he prayed, he prayed to the Lord and he's done really well. Amen. Amen. I give glory. Yeah. I give God the glory for that. Amen. But it is my thoughts anyway. My thoughts are. Brother Neil, Brother Neil Marcos, we'd like to pray for Maxine, please. Sure. Um, Jesus, our Lord and Savior, Father God, we come before you this evening. We lift up Maxine to you. Um, Lord, we pray that you. Give Maxine peace. Give her peace of mind, Lord. Um, let her know that no time can be added to the day by worrying about situations. Let her be. Let her be content with where her mind is, Lord. Give her peace of spirit. Give her peace of soul. Give her peace of mind, Lord. Let her know. Let her lean into you, Father God. Let her know that you are there for her. <clears throat> Father God, we rebuke any activity of the enemy, any fiery arrows which have been fired at Maxine right now, we equip her with the full armour of God, Lord. We ask you to, to hold her in your arms, Father God, to shield her, um, protect her against any force that she's having um, in her own mind, Lord, or any force which is coming from external uh, external parties, external people, external spirits. Lord, just protect Maxine. Um, bring her close to you, Lord, and just give her the faith that you're there protecting her. You go before us, Lord, because we know your word says um, in Psalms 32, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delights in these ways, man being mankind. So, Lord, we know that you're walking a path for Maxine. We know that if she's being convicted, that is because the enemy knows that she's on to a good thing with you, Lord, and, and that you, that that she's pressing into you, Father. So we rebuke any attacks at the enemy and just give her peace of mind, Lord. We also lift our son up to you, Father God, and we just pray that the Holy Spirit will continue to just light a fire within him, fan that flame, Lord, so that he can press Amen. him and he can see your goodness. Turn your face to him, Lord. Let him turn your, let him turn your ear to him, Lord. Answer his prayers, Father God. We hold him up to you. Let him be successful in his job. And just give Maxine a... a a sense of joy and a sense of peace in our spirit, Lord, because we are a brothers and sisters. We're here for Maxine too, Lord, and we just pray for Maxine. We hold her up to you, and we love Maxine. We love you, Lord, so just show her the love, Lord, and just give her calmness and peace. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you. Amen. That's lovely prayer. Thank you. Mattis? Amen. Hmm? Mattis? Is it Mattis? How do I pronounce Matthias. it? Matthias. Matthias. Over to you, brother. Yeah, well, I am this. I feel like I am the newcomer at this high school of uh, Christ uh, Recovery Church, and uh, I'm the beginner. So I'll uh, just uh, read uh, some uh, two things. First, Jesus. This is Matthijs Hans Beyer Boom Bilal. He is coming to you in all humility to ask you to guide and direct him. Matthijs Hans Beyer Boom, Bilal, realizes that his life is messed up and unmanageable. Matthijs Hans Beyer Boom, Bilal, is coming to you, Lord, in all humility, to ask to be one of your children, to work for you, to serve and dedicate his life to you, and to turn his will, will and life over that he may be an instrument of your love. Lord, I ask that you guide and direct me, and that I have decided to turn my will and life over to you, to serve you, and to dedicate my life to you. I ask all this in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord. I believe that if I ask this in prayer, 
I shall receive what I have asked for. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Lord. Amen. Yeah, well, oh, glory to God. I don't know how much time I've got. Please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome. And we we welcome you here on this platform. And uh, I believe we're going to have some, you know, joy in the spirits. I'm just so excited that the Lord has brought you here with us tonight. And I just thank God that your that lovely prayer uh, that, you know, that was based in and meshed in, in recovery. I heard step one, two and three all the way into that. And I heard a deep sense of surrender. Hallelujah. And I heard an equipping and I heard, you know what, Mateus? You need to be around some like-minded people like you. Hallelujah. Yeah, well, I'll, be back. I'll, I'll be back. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to our Father that does mighty things in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for Hallelujah. putting the number in there. I'm going to phone you. Hallelujah. And we're going to catch up on a one-to-one. All -one. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May God bless you and don't be a stranger. Have a look at our program, www faithwalkministries.co.uk we're back here tomorrow night at 8 p.m monday night at 8 p.m so wednesday morning at 6 30 a.m friday morning at 6 30 a.m it's all on the website hallelujah thank you jesus www.faithwalkministries.co.uk website i gave you my phone number i've got it i've logged Good. in you're going to be caring for me, brother. God bless you. Amen. Ryan Harris, God bless you, brother. Come in. God bless you, bro. Any time, is there any time for prayer? Is it, is Absolutely. It getting on yeah, I'd like you to pray for me, man. I, I was rushed to hospital the other day. Um, I've got kidney stones. Mm. And I, um, I have an ambulance out. They pumped me with uh, uh, a load of, um, what's it called? Uh, oh, uh, the, the strong... The strong drug. Um, oh, uh, you know, they, they put a candy in my arm and they pumped me with a load of morphine. And I had to go up there and they've, they've had to use depositories. I won't go into, I won't go too far, man, but it's quite being a, being a young man is can be quite embarrassing, you know. And uh, yeah, man, I was up there for like f f 15 hours. And uh, I love sharing the gospel with people. I do it wherever I go either, you know that. But lately, I'm finding it hard in myself uh, to to sort of know I am in in the body of Christ. So that's that's something I'm really really struggling with right now. And uh, yeah, my health is just it's just going downhill, man. And uh, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's me. I don't know if it's if the sin, the wages of sin, or is it just that the enemy's attacking me? I don't know. But the pain was so the pain. I mean, any woman that gives birth. Is, is the kidney, the stones in the kidneys, it's, it's just the worst pain I've ever had. And uh, it comes and goes in waves. And uh, the minute they've given me all this stuff, or morph and tablets galore. And I just just, just would like to receive some prayer, man, if that's possible. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for that brother, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Father, we just lift him up to you, Father, Lord. We pray tonight for him, Lord, that you cover him by the blood of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We thank you as we receive this request. I ask you to dispatch your minister in spirits of healing right now over his body. I pray for every infirmity, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Let every organized strategy in the bone structure, in the fluid structure, in the blood veins be renewed right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you right now. We thank you, Jesus, Lord, as we just lift him up, Lord. We thank you as we come tonight, as we pull off any strongholds of disease or any intamination or pollution in his body right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask you to purify him from head to toe in the name of Jesus, Lord. We thank you that we pull down every imagination and every high thing or high thought in his life that is not of God right now in the name of Jesus. 
Father, we claim the victory of the cross for his life right now. Today, in Jesus' name, I command him to be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Jesus, Lord, to nullify every insanitation that is not of you right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that let Ryan be the person that you want him to be spiritually fit and healthy to preach the good news of the gospel as you called him to do in Jesus name we thank you Jesus Lord hallelujah as we come to him tonight Lord we pray for that spiritual sanitation Lord in the mighty name of Jesus that every demonic influence that's targeting him right now to be destroyed in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit Father we thank you Lord let his body and soul and spirit be turned into hot coals of fire right now in the name of Jesus. I paralyze and render any impotent or negative thought. Oh, Lord, we just place you by the power of the Holy Spirit as we cover him right now. We pray for healing in his bones right now. We pray for revisitation of the Holy Spirit. We pray for rejuvenation of the mind, body, and soul right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you. Let your name be glorified of everything that he does in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the victory tonight. Oh, Lord, cause his own heart to be at rest, trusting in you at all times in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you right now, Lord, as we just come tonight, as we we just lift him up to you in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that you are the God shaped mold in his heart and in his mind. In Jesus mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, as we bring this to a close, this meeting tonight. We thank you, can Lord. I just, can I just pray for Ryan as well? Intercede him, just wait, just okay. one second. Thank you, Lord, as we bring this meeting to a close. We thank you, Lord, that we just lift up every single person on this platform right now. We lift up every single person. We thank you for each and every single one of us right now. Thank you, Nisha. God bless you. Thank you tonight. Thank you. Is there anything you, you want to say for us, Nisha, before we before we close? Interesting meeting, and I really did learn something. Thank you, Giselle. Um, it's great. You know, we we always learn. We never told to learn. I think that's why it's something that I learned tonight. Thank you so much. I'm so glad I joined. Amen. 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 All Amen. glory to God, Nisha. The spirit, the spirit was just leading me right there to you. Father, Lord, we thank you for our sister, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for her humility. I thank you for who she is. I thank you for my spiritual mother on this platform tonight. I thank you as I lift her up to you, Lord. I pray for her health. I pray for strength. I pray for a family right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for each and every single one of us right now in the name of Jesus. Maxine, you said you'd like to pray for Ryan. Unmute. Yeah, I just felt that um, I just wanted to pray for you, Ryan. I Bless pray you, for Jesus. the Holy Ghost fire over you right now. I pray for any, 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 anything that's in your body that shouldn't be there. I pray for the Holy Spirit to pull it out from Amen. the root in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak in to Yeshua Hamashiach. I plead the blood of Jesus over you, Ryan. And I pray for the, the unction of the Holy Spirit to just cover you, cover you and to the oil of, um, the oil of, the oil of God to cover your body. To just break and bind anything that's not of God in the name of Jesus. We bind and rebuke it and we pull it out from the root and just cast it out and just with the blood of Yeshua. Amen. That's what I wanted to say. I just felt the. And thanks. Glory to God. Thank you. you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank Sorry. you. Thank you for your help. Thank you for just stepping out. And just, I don't know. Hey, God bless you, Sister Maxine. Okay. Much appreciated, my sister. Thank you. You know, we, yeah. we should all have a We just want to just, just wants to pray for one another. So, Father God, we thank you. We bring the meeting to a close tonight. 
We thank you for each and every single one of us. Go in peace and serve the Lord. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. At some point, those of you that I'll be seeing and um, those of you that will be seeing on Zoom in the evening at 8 p.m., Psalm 2 tomorrow. It's Psalm 2, remember, tomorrow. So we look forward to Psalm 2. For those of you, don't come on tomorrow if you're here tonight and go, what Psalm was it? I didn't get the Psalm. It's Psalm 2, Maxine. Psalm 2, <laughs> Matthias, if you want to join us tomorrow night. Psalm 2, Hi, 8 p.m., yes. Um, um, so have you changed the program from, um, are you still doing the book of Revelation on Monday night? Yes, it's in Revelations 11 on Monday. Okay, sorry, I, I must have misheard you. I thought you said it was 6.30 Monday. Psalm 2, to, Psalm 2 tomorrow, Revelations Monday night, 6.30 Meditation on the Word Wednesday morning, 6.30 oh, yeah, okay. Testimony I misheard, sorry. Amen, <laughs> Father God, hallelujah. Amen. Good to see you, Abby Joanne. We're bringing it to a close, but we always pray for you. Hallelujah. Good that God, I know that God, British time, that's correct, Matthias. Eight, eight, uh, Greenwich GMT, GMT. Always lovely to see you. And uh, I hope God has been um, been with you in all that you're doing. I know that you're doing such a lot of stuff up there, up there in uh, Liverpool. And uh, we bless you and we bless your family. And it's always good, even if it's just for a couple of minutes, to acknowledge you on the WhatsApp and uh you know, on the platform, and I know that you always support us whenever you can, so God bless you as well, it's lovely to see you. Thank you for the man of God, Isaac Abor, as the man of God said, we're going to be going into that particular um, area and passage of scripture, and we can go a little bit deeper on some of the areas that we cover, how do we operate, how, how do they operate, um, um, where do they come from, you know, and we're looking at areas around that over a little series that we shall be looking at over the next few weeks. So we'll put that together and the man of God will bring that to the group. So I look forward to um, the excitement of getting involved in that. So may God bless you, sister Giselle, as always, you are a complete blessing to our ministry. Okay. Um, I know before you go, I want to thank you so much for praying for me. You see how God leads? Um, God leads you in such a way to pray for my health. And I'm struggling a bit with that at that moment. But God is a good God, is me. We do not have to ask people for prayer. The Lord just leads you to pray for me. Amen. And I thank God, you know, for his goodness. He is so good. All of Amen. you are on this platform. God is a good God. And he just speaks to each one, each and every one of us with our hearts to pray for each other. Even though you don't, you don't know what I'm going through or what each other is going through. But God just lead us. You know, to pray for each other. Thank you so much, Ivan. Oh, you're uh, Oh, bless you. Oh, man, that God bless you. Oh, isn't it just love when we feel the presence of the Holy Spirit? You know, <laughs> and I know there's nothing better than being in the building, but you know what? <laughs> We're going to keep moving on Zoom because God has asked us to keep going. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All glory to God. He's asked us to keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh -huh. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And before I close, can somebody pray for me? I'm ministering in the church tomorrow. So I am um, talking about a faithfully surrendered. And I'd love to get some covering prayers for tonight because I'm going to be um, just going into some passages of scripture. And I'm asking the Holy Spirit to just lead me. So can we cover with some prayers before we go. But anybody who wants to lead in that, please lead. Can I, can I lead off in that, please, sir? Please do, please do, okay. sir. Okay. Lord God Almighty, or else should die, I am lifting our brother Ivor up to you. And Father God, I am asking you by the power of your Holy Spirit, give him words and actions to say and do, not just for tomorrow, but for every day of his life, but Lord, especially mm -hmm. tomorrow when he's leading this service. Give him the words that will come from his mouth like flames of fire, and burn away everyone's insecurities and doubts and apprehensions about you. Lord, 
lift that burning coal, that ember from the altar and touch his tongue with it, that every word comes from, will, every word comes from his mouth will be from you. Lord, you know what him and his family are going through, what they have to do, what they're enduring to be walking in this ministry. Lord, I know from experience that working in a ministry and juggling family life and work life is bad. It's hard to do. But Lord God Almighty, you give us that strength so you do. And we can and we will do all things through you because you give us that strength, Father God. You really do. So, Lord God Almighty, we're lifting Brother Ivor up to you. And tomorrow he is going to give one wonderful service. And as he dunks our brother Mark as well, what a glorious day this is going to be. It, tomorrow is another day that you have made, Lord, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. Brother Neil, your hands up. Thanks, Tava. Um, just a quick one to Ryan, if you may. Um, Ryan, if you, um, if you want to get my number of Fiverr, feel free to reach out to yeah, me yeah. anytime you like. Um, yeah, anytime you bro. come on, uh, you, you lift me up, my friend. So um, it's always amazing to see you uh, online and, and all the greatness that you do. So keep believing in yourself, brother, and I'm always here for you. Grab my number five. Yeah, definitely, man. I, I, may I ask, do you, do, do you live local? Is it in London or...? But grab my number, bro. Grab my number, then we can pick up. Hey, Milton yeah, King, definitely, grab my number, we can pick up. All right, yeah, bro. Fantastic. God bless you. Amen, guys. That's what I like. Reaching out. Reaching out for the brothers. Reaching out. Hallelujah. <laughs> let's, just, let's just pray. Father God, we thank you as we close this meeting tonight. We thank you for each and every one of the brothers and sisters there. We thank you that we continue to be faithful to you to the cause that you have and the plans that you have for each and every single one of us. Let us serve you with love. Let us just continue to be in the midst of the Holy Spirit that you send to each and every single one of us to guide and lead us for our times of difficulty. That though we walk sometimes through the shadow of the valley of death, that we shall fear no evil, that your rod will comfort us, Father, I pray for peace in our homes and our minds and our hearts right now. I pray for wisdom from above. I pray for fresh fire and anointing to fall down upon us. That when we leave this meeting tonight, that we will not be the same. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Take care. God bless. See you tomorrow. Bye. God bless you. Take Thanks, care. Sir. All the best tomorrow. You're doing amazing. Go smash it. God bless you, bro. God bless you all. God bless you, everyone. God bless you, everyone. God bless you. 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 God bless